The Galaxy S22 leaks are back. What's up guys? So Samsung is in a bit of a weird position. They have Xiaomi breathing on their necks. They killed the Note flagship phone this year as well. So they really need to bring their absolute best with the upcoming Galaxy S22 series. We finally know which camera sensor Samsung is hoping to use on their base Galaxy S22 and S22+. Plus. According to Ice Universe, in September of this year, Samsung will officially announce the 200 megapixel sensor as well as a 50 megapixel RGB RGBW sensor. This RGBW sensor could very likely end up on the base S22 and the S22 Plus giving them the much needed camera upgrade over the previous generation. RGBW means that in addition to red, green and blue colors, we also have a white LED spectrum, hence more accurate colors and it should provide improved highlight rendition in high contrast scenes. Again, this is only for the S22 and the S22 Plus. For the S22 Ultra, Samsung will be using a brand new ISOCELL HM4 sensor at 108 megapixel resolution. Now they are announcing a 200 megapixel sensor but apparently it's gonna be for their most dangerous rival Xiaomi. We also thought that Samsung would use this sensor on their S22 Ultra but apparently there's been a change of plans, change of how Samsung is doing things internally. It seems like they don't want to follow the numbers blindly. As for the other interesting upgrades for the Ultra model includes a continuous zoom setup which could be the next big groundbreaking upgrade. Now Samsung will still likely utilize the Qualcomm Snapdragon 898 on the Galaxy S22 series in US, Canada, and China. We actually got some details on this chip. Apparently, it's going to be packed with power, running the Prime X2 core at 3.09 GHz, which is a very high clock speed compared to the 2.84 GHz of previous generation. All I hope is that they manage thermals on that thing, especially running at that high frequency. As for the international regions, we'll see the Exynos chip with the brand new AMD GPU. Now if the AMD Exynos chip beats the Snapdragon 898 then I want this chip to be in all regions, in all markets, ending this dual chip BS once and for all. Now speaking of Snapdragon 898, this chip will be used by other manufacturers as well including Xiaomi. Xiaomi is on fire, the leaks for the Mi 12 are already coming. According to the reports, the Mi 12 will use a Snapdragon 898 chip with the brand new LPDDR5X RAM. The X series of RAMs will now be supported by the brand new chip and it will likely be available on more flagships as well. Xiaomi may be looking to bring the Mi 12 series as early as possible, not too long after the S22 launch in order to truly challenge Samsung. Now Xiaomi is not done with this year yet, they actually got one more flagship phone for the second half of this year, the Mi Mix 4. According to the recent certification listing, it's confirmed that this phone exists and it will come out in the later part of this year. As for the specs and features, it's actually going to be very similar to the Mi 11 Ultra. The biggest difference will be the under display camera up front and possibly we could see the Snapdragon 888 Plus chip on board. As I've said before, Xiaomi is closing on Samsung's number one position. So Samsung really has to do something big with the S22 lineup and most importantly, they have to absolutely bring the Galaxy Note series back in the game. That's all for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new here. Be sure to follow on Instagram if you want to see behind the scenes stuff and my life. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.